Like and subscribe now, or you're gonna have bad luck this week. <laughs> Top 10 human body parts that are useless. Humans have a couple of weird things on their bodies that don't necessarily serve a purpose, or at least not anymore due to our race evolving. Today, we are talking about 10 human body parts that are useless. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you will be the first one to be notified when we post. Let's get right into it. Number 10. Goosebumps Our first entry on the list is not really a body part, which is why it is only number 10 on our list. We all get goosebumps every now and then. Sometimes we are simply cold, and sometimes adrenaline kicking in can cause them too. But it is not widely known for what reason we get them at all. If you ask someone on the street about what goosebumps were originally good for, they might not be able to answer that question. Well, in animals, goosebumps serve more of a purpose, and because humans are also mammals, evolution thought it would be nice that we have it too. The purpose of goosebumps is to retain heat when being cold. The goosebumps contract each muscle around your body hair to cause the hair to stand upright, creating a barrier of hair to prevent warmth from escaping the body. However, humans don't have nearly enough hair for the goosebumps to work. Number 9. Body Hair Body hair had two original purposes. Like with goosebumps, the hair kept us warm and cozy just a tiny bit more. And believe it or not, the hair was actually used to detect parasites back in the day. The more hair you have, the easier it is to find bed bugs and mosquitoes because the nerve ends on our hair made us more receptible to the bugs moving on our body. This made it easier for our ancestors to remove the bugs before they started feeding on their blood. Scientists also said that back in the day, women preferred hairy men, having more of a possibility of being bug-free. Now, in modern days, we have much better ways of detecting bed bugs like parasites, and now it is quite common to shave as well. However, an article from Live Science suggests that if you have more body hair, you will still be able to detect bugs better than people with less body hair. So, if you want a special ability like this, you can just grow your hair out. Number 8. Tonsils Many people can attest that they have had their tonsils removed and can live just fine without them. Our tonsils' purpose is to protect us against infections. But ironically, people can experience problems with their tonsils because they are trapping too much bacteria in the back of their throat. This can lead to a terribly sore throat and, in bad cases, even breathing problems. In these cases, a doctor can remove them with surgery and fix the issue, which is more evidence that they are not as necessary as other organs. People can either experience fewer infections without them, or it could be worse than before because you are missing something in your immune system. Fun fact, did you know that your tonsils can grow back? Number 7. Philtrum Have you ever asked yourself what that indentation between your nose and mouth is for, but you have never thought much more about it? For many years, scientists have tried to figure out what the little groove between our mouth and nose is for as well, and they have finally figured it out. When we are in the womb, this is where our face connects. Without the indentation, your face would fail to fuse symmetrically, which is how a cleft palate forms. After you are born, your philtrum doesn't serve a single purpose anymore, however. Number 6. Auricular Muscles We all have that one person that claims to be able to wiggle their ears, and though it looks like the ear is moving, that is not exactly what is happening. The muscles surrounding the outer ear, the auricular muscles, are the things that are actually moving. For animals that swivel their ears, like cats for example, this muscle is important so they can move their ears in the direction they need. For humans, there is no point in having these muscles, and most of us cannot even use them anyway. Number 5. Tailbone Many people have probably ended up falling on their rear end doing some kind of sports activity, finding themselves unable to sit for days on end after at one point. What happened here is that these people have most probably injured their tailbone. Now, anyone can guess why this is one on our useless list based on the name alone. You most likely guessed right. We no longer have anything slightly related to a tail. The bone is not completely useless though. It gives your body balance while you're sitting and helps the pelvis function normally. Other than that, it does not serve much of a purpose. Number 4. Wisdom Teeth Most of us will get our wisdom teeth pulled at some point or another, so why are we growing them in the first place? Well, scientists explain that our ancestors needed an extra row of teeth to be able to eat an ancient diet of uncooked meats and super tough roots. Now, our faces have gotten smaller over the course of 20,000 years, so now our wisdom teeth are causing more problems than helping. This is when it comes in handy to visit the dentist and get them removed. If you don't get them removed, be prepared to step up your teeth brushing skills, as food often gets stuck back there. Number 3. Extra Eye Membrane this little pink corner in our eye is called the plica simulinaris, but for easier understanding, we shall just call it the membrane for this one. This little body part is actually the remnants of our third eyelid, similar to other animals like cats. Originally, it was to keep our eyes clean and moist. Whatever the purpose of it was, it is useless now. It still collects some dirt in the corner of our eyes, like what we have on our eyes after sleeping. Number 2. Palmaris Muscle 
You probably have this muscle, but there is also a very good chance that you don't. A study by Ulster Medical Society with 300 people resulted with 49 people missing the muscle on one arm, while 26 people were missing it on both arms. The palmaris muscle is a long and thin muscle that goes from your elbow to your wrist and might help you with a couple of wrist functions, but it does not serve much of a purpose anymore. Experts say that this muscle was possibly used to help us hang from trees and climb, but you will do fine without it if you are missing it. Number 1. Pinky Toe Our number one on this list is something you use every day, your pinky toe. What you might not know is that you can totally live without it. The primates we descended from use their feet for grabbing branches and climbing trees. We, however, do not have to climb as advanced terrain as they had to, which is why our pinky toe is mostly useless by now. But can you imagine never being able to stub your tiny toe again? Living without the pain of stubbing your toes, what a dream! And there you have it, 10 human body parts that are useless. Can you think of any more useless body parts? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We will see you in the next one.